Driven HQ guys, my name's Adam and behind me is the absolute craziest creation in the history of vehicles in my personal opinion. It is the Tesla Cybertruck. I'm here with my man Craig. Craig, thanks for bringing it. Up from Florida, you gonna shake my hand? Good to see you. Bro. What's up, Adam? How are you? Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing it. I'm glad you're in the HQ. This place is unbelievable. Uh, isn't it? It's, it's you know, a lot of work. You know, we're going to shoot outside tomorrow, but we just had to literally shoot it in here. Let's we, do it. <laughs> let's do it. He came right? over. It's like not even kidding you guys, like 830 at night. He's <laughs> like, hey, let's just do it. The time's of the essence. I'm like, why not? Guys, I'm so blown away by this truck. It, the build quality, you know, there's all this crazy stuff going on right now, right? Like they rust and, you know, all this weirdness. Now, there's a couple of things that Craig told me already that I thought was interesting, considering the fact that he got this and there's no autopilot right now. It's gonna require a software update. That's something I hadn't, hadn't known. But I think you're gonna like this video because this is gonna be a really just raw, like get into the truck in a perspective that you probably haven't seen as an actual owner versus a big journalist, overly produced, drone shots, all this stuff, right? We'll do a little <laughs> bit of that with the montage, but in general, that's, this is the kind of content I like to watch. So hopefully you learn something about the Cybertruck and you get something out of it. If you do, go ahead and like the video, share it with a friend, and we really appreciate you watching. So let's get into the next clip. Like, man, you just got the truck. When'd you get it? Thursday. Thursday, okay. 15th. What has it been like? You know, what are people's reactions been? Like, seriously, like, tell me. You've already given me some texts and comments already, but. Uh, you know, I didn't understand snapping necks until now <laughs> when, 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 you know, uh, then I'm also getting, I'm also getting the drop, the dropped jaw. Right. And then I'm getting a lot of weird driving behaviors. They come up behind me right. from wherever, and then they sit on my rear in my blind spot, and then they roll up, and then they roll back, and then they do whatever. And These guys are literally trying to film us right now. They are. Yeah, they're they, all over the road too. They they act, the, how much this guy know. literally just drove by, stopped, and got out of his truck, or got out of his car. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, and we're like literally in the middle of nowhere right now in this fucking... Didn't you tell me there was a guy that was like literally flicking you off yesterday and then there that was, was another person that was recording you in a tundra for like a good 10 minutes? I mean... Those were both true stories while we were on the telephone. <laughs> like, this is the Mad Max of vehicles. <laughs> yeah. So you've had it now a few days. What's your first impressions like? You know, what's it been like? It's... Okay, so um, my daughter and I named the truck and the reason we named it Holy Moly is because that's all we kept saying for the first two hours. We just kept saying, holy moly, holy moly. <laughs> Where we drove it down Delray Beach. I picked it up in Delray Beach, Florida. And there was a tennis event in the, and it was a quite active lunchtime scene and everybody dropped. They were just, holy moly. Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's so polarizing. I mean, it, it's, I, there's nothing like this. No. Like nope. not, there's nothing even close to this but on the road. It Here. hit it with, it hit it with the looks the usability and, and the, the drivability. It's quiet. It's the best drive I've ever had of anything. I, 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 it's, it's, so it's not hot. a lot of wind noise, like a typical truck. There's, I, about, you know what, what tire noise I have a like bit that. of wind noise out of my driver's rear that could be, uh, you know, maybe right. uh, needs an adjustment. And, and guys, but this it, is we're, one piece of automotive glass. Like, look at this. One giant piece of automotive glass. It's incredible. And look at how it ends with this little cut line here. It's, like, it's a piece of engineering. I don't even know how it's they do art. it. It's art. It's so quiet that I could hear that air coming from that one spot. Oh, that's great. It, 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 the, the... And you notice it has the one giant windshield wiper. <laughs> that is the biggest windshield wiper in the, in the game. It works really well. Look at that thing. Yeah, you were going through rain, weren't you, up in, uh, in yes, Florida? Yes, I had to thing. go through that cold front. It's insane. <laughs> These are aerodynamic cuts, too. They designed that so that it would divert air. I mean, you know. It's and you know, people were talking about the build quality, the build quality, oh my God. Like guys, the build quality of this thing is like unreal how good it is. Like, look at that, look at that. Holy moly. You see that? That lines up pretty good. Going all the way up the top here. Going all the way back down, right? Look at this, doors, see? Perfect. This door, perfect. And then again, right here. I mean, okay, that's like maybe half a millimeter off as you come back. All the way back here, that line is perfectly straight. All the way down, it's even here. It's even here. I mean, this, this is hard to believe that this is only the first few that rolled off the line. You would have thought they were making this thing for years, man. 1,264 for this VIN number. 
you know, there's a little tiny stain right here. I tried some Goo Gone, I tried some Windex. I haven't been able to get this. This was like a factory stain. It, it, you know, I don't know. I don't even know if it's yeah. picking up on the camera. It doesn't matter. Did it matter. pick up on the camera? No. It, it, no. That's it, what's it, funny. This is actually dirty and it doesn't look dirty. Like, no. trust me, it's dirty, okay? Yeah, it's. But it, it, it's stainless steel. Like, it's just like your fridge. You get a stainless steel cleaner, you spray it off and you wipe it and it's good. Check out that line, now that he's opened the truck. Oh. It, it's interesting, it's coming up on my camera as orange, but it's actually, you know, red. I love the look of these wheels, guys. Like, this is way better looking than I actually thought they were, because he, I, did you take the covers off, or is this actually how it came? The, uh, the story on that, Adam, is the covers are defective. The covers are defective? Yeah, so the factory covers that look really cool, they have the pieces that come out, and they, they come out onto the rubber right here in right. this. This is the de this was the shape. And what happened was when the wheel hits this spot of rolling resistance, it um, moves ever so slightly. No kidding. And that was starting to shave ever so slightly the rubber. So they had to put new tires on and then they're shipping them without the wheel covers and they're promising a new wheel cover. Wow, these are really good looking wheels though, you have to admit, they look super masculine. People are changing them, I don't understand why. Why? They're, they're and, and they're quiet, you said. Yes. You know, I had I had a big Raptor tra you know, yes. Roush truck and it, it, it was pretty quiet, but you know, my Hummer, it, it ain't quiet. These right? are made so. for this truck. Um, I don't know if you have seen any content, but you can flip them. Uh, the other side doesn't have this design, uh, yeah. this, so, so, so a non-Tesla can use them. I want to show the guys the lights here. When you, when you originally pulled up, these lights are so bright. Like, it's, it's an incredible amount of light. Signature. Now, now, this is just an accent light, right? and these are the headlights. Yeah, those are the actual headlights. And people are complaining, they, they were asking me if I find the headlights effective or not, and I, like, They're never... Amazing noticed that it wasn't. I have heard videos though saying that they don't really work that well. You know, I went in here because I was going to check my mileage. Guys, if you don't know, this is how you get into the truck. So you actually push that. Okay. Yeah. God, that's crazy. Don't hit the Aston Martin, Adam. Okay. So yeah, you can fold the seats up just like a just truck. Just check the mileage. Yeah. 1,375 miles I've got on this Good thing. Good for you, bro. That, that's some experience. Like, check like, it so... out, guys. Cybertruck, that's welded. Man, that's so damn cool. That's probably part of the foundation package. Is that right? Or, yeah, there's yeah, a lot of... Not, I, that doesn't strike me as something that's... The L track, a, a lot of these options. Um, Seats look awesome. The Tonneau might be a, an option, we don't know. All right, hop in the truck, let's show the folks. Okay, first of all, I love... Oh my God, this is like a spaceship. You know, getting into my Model Y is like a spaceship because it has the, the, the pano glass, but this is just the next level. Interior lights are different. You have this massive windshield. Man, you have so much headroom. Look at this, you're six feet, what, two? Mm -hmm. And you've got six, seven inches. The seat's incredibly comfortable. The steering wheel, look at this thing. Now you mentioned you can't do like the whole, you know, drive with your knee thing, so that's kind of annoying, but. And they got rid of the uh, windshield, you know, the screen here, which, you know, even for the first edition, it's interesting. You got nice, cool cup holders designed. Do these charge your phone? Really well. Nice. It's so truck-like. Look at all this space, guys. God, storage here. Is there storage underneath this, or is that all you get? Of course there is. Back screen here as well for the kids. This is fantastic. This is so cool. 1,300 miles, good for you. Yeah, so a couple more details for you guys. This is what the glove box looks like. Again, I don't think anybody's shown you that. That's so cool that it's automated like that. Well, open and close. I, I, I don't honestly think I've seen an automated glove box before. That seems like an unnecessary thing that they honestly didn't need to put in. It's one more thing to go wrong, but that's Elon I, Musk. So there I you go. I don't think it's gonna go wrong. Well, yeah, we'll see. Well, this those actuator, he's a pro with the actuators. That's what's going in the box. Oh, there you go. He's a pro with actuators. You heard it from Mr. Craig. Man, I think this is just a, this is cool. I mean, and, and you could change the color. Of this, yeah, right? I was just going to so show you. So we go to light. Purple's a little too. Uh, well, let me tell you something. It comes default. Oh, you can do anything you yeah, want. So it was on red. Okay. And I was right. digging the red and I didn't bother to look at it. And my favorite color is blue. Okay. And I put on the blue. You can't drive on blue. You can't, you don't want to be on the highway with the blue lights. Yes, I'm really actually surprised considering this is a truck, they actually gave you all these accent lights. All, and it goes all the way around the cockpit, guys, as you can see. So it's it's a, it's totally 
The way the totally seats done. go up, it's so usable. I don't think this is gonna be the ultimate camping vehicle, like Chris said in your uh, last video. Well, maybe not. You, to get go, the, you get the camper extension, right? It's, it's gonna be great to go camping with your tent and your gear, but right. I don't think I want to have a $3,000 tent. The vault's not waterproof or I have a leak. Okay. Um, I had my luggage yeah. in the let's back. Let's go to the back and show the folks the back. Yeah. yeah. So you're out of this truck, you literally push that right there. Here. I just want to show this, guys. Look, look how, here, let me make this one. Look how, th I mean, it, it's hard to tell in all the reviews how thick it is, but it's, it's, you know, it's a good quarter thick. And it just, it feels pretty damn solid. How do you so, open it? So the, I, I left Florida in yeah. the rain. I put my bags in, right. in the rain. It was and, literally and raining. This, this should have kept the rain out, right? Well, I didn't think about putting in the back seat because I had a pickup truck with a cover. Right. And it was quicker and easier to just throw it in. I didn't want the rain coming into the front seat. So I just okay. did that. And I drove for like, I don't know, eight to 10 hours before I went and oh, dealt with cool. anything. Yeah. I had this bag was kind of in the middle right over there Man, and that is fantastic this, look how it retracts this pillow was on top this pillow got soaking wet but that nothing is, else i have to comment this for a second that's the best retractable it's insane like i've never i mean i've had multiple trucks they usually just stop up there it it's completely hidden if i haven't done this that's incredible 50 times already i would be right there with you can i can i have it come up how do you yep. do it right here yep it's and, fast and you can stop it Oh yeah. my God, you can stop it anywhere And you've seen you the want. reviews where these people are standing Dude, on it. that is amazing. Get out of here. And then you could manually do it. Uh, see guys, I'm, you could like, you could just stop and it'll just stay there. That's fantastic. And you can stay. And then you could just hold it and it'll go, wow. That is so cool. Have you seen these guys? The, I saw the guys. I'm getting chills just watching that. They were doing BMX tricks off of this. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They're jumping, they, they're standing on the glass. I mean, I don't want to do this. We'll save it for Whistle and Diesel. Right. Yeah, right. All right, <laughs> watch out. Okay, so this comes down nice, right? Now, you do have a couple things I noticed. So you have a 240 and then, of course, 120 volts. So you have tie-down attachments here. You also have this system. What do you call this? It's L-Track. L-Track? From like a plane, from your overhead on, your, on oh, an airplane. Yeah. So that's cool. You have a bottle opener here as well. This this kind of feels like a nice protective coating. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, these things have been sliding around because I don't have any yeah, uh, tie downs. Fine. See how the seal's right there? It could just be that seal right there. I, I don't think it's per design. I think it should be. I think it's defective on oh, my interesting, build. Interesting, because it's not on the other side. Yeah, and it only leaked on this bag specifically, and it was so much water that this pillow was soaking wet. It's interesting. You have also attachment points here. I guess that's for your camping gear, right? And you can see those attachment point guys, see they're one, two, three, four, and they're on both sides. So you could just put, you know, that massive $3,000 enclosure on this. Look thing. at this guys. You have some tie down points here. So if you have to pull somebody out, you have your front camp. Craig is opening up the front trunk. Now that is so, why did they put it in the Cybertruck, but they didn't put it in the really expensive Model X or the S? I mean, come on. What do you ask? Oh, the, the powered kind of, front? That actually kind of pisses me off. The power, yes. I, I think, uh, Adam, I'm guess it, guessing, but I think the design, it's not so risky of getting caught with the air. Pulling I'm, it, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling that out of I'm my not rear. Buying, I'm not buying it. But, but it, you know, I, I think physics are with but me I here. I appreciate it. Man, there's a, not, there's a lot of room in here, though. And this is cool. That's another fun thing they did. You know, I'm going to take this plastic. stuff out of the back and put it back uh, in here yeah, because it's rolling around. That's perfect. Yeah. I mean, who, who uh, I travel with LaCroix. I'm a weirdo. Yeah. yeah you yeah. guys got me. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And my pillow is dry now. No, it's yeah. still wet. It's yeah. still a little gross, yeah. actually. Yeah. Free, yeah. free promotion for uh, LaCroix there, who's definitely not sponsoring my tiny channel. <laughs> nope, so. not sponsored. Definitely not sponsoring. So how many sounds do they give you? Because I've heard clapping, whistling, and honking now. So You know, what's interesting is we get to just keep counting them because uh, well, maybe one of the viewers will count them all. I don't know. Well, I assume you can go into the settings and see them all, right? Like, just like fart mode, right? Okay, that's, that's my favorite. That's the, yeah. yeah. That's the, uh, the 90s. Yeah, BMW or something. The it's 90s like alarm, like. right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that for a second. This because is their delivery. These are going for 100,000 plus aftermarket right now over sticker well they're not really going they're they're not sellable well that's true so tell, tell people about that so if you don't know guys and craig has been offered <laughs> <laughs> offered many times already uh, to, to buy it so tesla says you cannot legally transfer the title of this vehicle for 12 months 
you can, I guess, if you absolutely have to, but you essentially will end up on some gray or blacklist. No, you have to offer it to Tesla. You have to offer it to them. And I don't know what they'll offer you. Well, they'll probably back. just. Probably like a regular car, lower value situation. Don't really know. I'll let other people test that out. I absolutely love my truck. I, I couldn't yeah. even imagine parting with it. The, uh, it is something to mention on camera, I think, right? Because the reality is like, these are so hot and the well, world right now is swimming in so much money, you know? So let's go on to the speculation station, right? Sure. So this is a foundation series. They said 1000 foundation series. Like, okay, that would have been super cool, but this is, this is number 1164. Well, it's, but that's released to the public. They might've given the first couple hundred to their staff and, and there, you know, testing. And, so there's remaining to be seen so if I that's the case, that. but the tracker is tracking more than that, but we'll see. Yeah. I, I'm estimating that they're gonna take the whole 2024 production of, of Foundation Series and wait till 25 and make yeah, some sort of a difference. Yeah, first year. And that's when the cars can finally be resold because those first cars will be a year old. Sure. I don't really know, but so, you still, one year from now, there's still only gonna be at best 300,000 trucks made. Right. And there's a way over 2 million reservations waiting right. and counting. Right. So question I have is, you know, you, you got this truck because when Elon was doing his initial press conference that night where the glass broke and everything, you literally went right then first second and you put it in and you put in for all three tiers. You were very smart because you didn't know which tier you got. So this truck is actually not the Cyber Beast. This is the, this is the long range, correct? This is all wheel drive, right? There was two versions released that night, single motor an all wheel drive, two motor and a three motor beast, right. tri-motor. It wasn't called Cyber, Cyber beast. beast at that time, I think. It Maybe was, a tri-motor. It was not the tri-motor, yeah. And uh, yeah, you're, I'm, I'm sure you're right on that. Um, Elon brought that out on stage and I had the same reaction as everyone. I was, what is that? And you yeah. know, looks like a door stop. I thought it looked hideous when I first saw yeah, it. It looked it grew, like a, it grew on me. Like, in seconds. Yeah, it grew on me by the end of the presentation. I'm like, you had me a bulletproof. There's a lot of FUD on Tesla and a lot of oh, incorrect so FUD. So much crap online. All, everybody's hating right now. Everybody's hating. If you, you know, if you don't drive a Tesla, you don't deserve to hate on a Tesla. You know, if, if you haven't experienced home charging, you still can't hate on a Tesla. Like. You know, I was a guy that would go out and take my wife's car and fill it up with fuel. Yeah. Like, like, like she leaves every day with a full tank of energy. Right. Like literally, it's, it's so safe. My, my family I feel safe in. Anyone that talks about Tesla's being unsafe or fire or this or that crap, they're just not true. Yeah, I, I always, I always love that, right? People say that, that they, you know, oh, it's, it burns up batteries. This and that. I'm like, are you crazy? Like that's a gas powered car. Spark plugs and batteries. And you know, it's all, it's all has to mesh and you have to change the oil twice a year. And you know, if you drive a lot, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Like those catch on fire all the time. Go to the racetrack with me, I'll prove it, okay? There's a, there's a car that catches on fire almost every time we're at the track, okay? <laughs> it's like very common. So, you know, I've never seen a battery operated car burn in the ground. I mean, I've seen videos of it. I'm sure it happens from time to time, but it's the exception, if you not the rule. crash it at like, you know, triple figures maybe into a concrete wall, that's when I've been aware of it. Yeah, I mean, if, if you have a bad accident, sure. The battery's still charged, got all that juice, gotta go somewhere. Let's talk about range. So this has what, 340? Like realistically, how much you get, 310? I think it shows 313 at 100%. I, I laughed okay, so at, 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 than that. it was 98%. I think it said 313. That's right, this, this steering's incredible. Like that, that's a game changer for a truck. Look at that, that, that is insane. Dude, they're gonna sell so many of these damn things if they can you just know make I them. it off where the wheels were bent, turned a little bit? Yeah. And then when I turned it back on, the wheel moved back to where it was, where it should be. It's awesome. Just not, it's not, it's amazing. It's it's just the future, dude. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You'll clear that. Don't hit the ass, and that's the only rule. Like, what is this? That's the most interesting part. Notice, guys, there is not a single Tesla logo anywhere not on one. this thing. Not, not one. one. I mean, literally not one. Why is there not one right here? Why I don't even know if the parts. Why is there not one right here? Right. Do, do the parts numbers have them it's, like they it's, should? It's unbelievable. You, you literally just pointed that out. There's not a single Tesla logo on this entire thing. So what that tells you is this is its own line of car or truck. It's built by Tesla, but it's not obviously advertised as a Tesla. Oh, thing. come inside. I need to show you an Easter egg. Sure. So yeah, watch this. Yeah, okay. So I don't, 
That's so cool. <laughs> oh, it goes, oh my fucking God, what? Oh, that's great. That's, that's a knee great. slapper, isn't that's it? That's great, dude. I mean, come on. I don't and know. the fact that you have even this ability to do a 360 of the truck like that. I have no idea where the other. And, and, you know, guys, if you don't know, like this is the stuff. Let me show the folks this. this is really cool. So you have all of these different things built in here. Now you're like, oh, it's just a big giant screen. Ooh, ooh, right. But the reality is this has so many features. So you have like things like the toy box, right? Where you have like farting sounds. My kids. They love this stuff. When he goes and puts it in, uh, you know, fart on demand, fart on turn signal. It, it's built in. You know, he's got it on on so random, but you have all these different farts, right? I guarantee you, if you have kids, can't not laugh. You will laugh, okay? You have romance mode. Like this is this is so funny, right? So like, let's say. Well, the farting is ruining the romance, <laughs> but that's okay for you, Adam. Sorry, man. Uh, so you the can, heater comes on too when you. You do can this. hit it, and then it starts. <laughs> we, it starts we, to play romantic music, right? Like some we, Barry White stuff. Okay, we, we, just, we, we just turned we, the damn thing off. You <laughs> turned it on, all right? I don't know what you did. But I mean, look at that. It's like a high def, you know, beautiful thing here. All right. I mean, yeah. but that, that's just the fun stuff, right? But then you have the arcade. So you got this, and, and you have the ability, guys, to have Steam integration. And this is the cool part. You can actually play movies and stuff through the rear screen when the kids are in the car. So you just have all these built-in games plus the ability to do Steam. And you know. Well, you have the safety of the cameras, right? So yeah. if something weird but happens, still not you have the camera. They still haven't done 360. Well, they did a better job though. They've, they've yeah, got it both ways here. This is like here. mine, but it's still not yeah. 360. It's weird. And the I know. Are cool. Well, I had an Escalade and it had the 360. I know. It's a and nice that was like in 2015. I know. I don't get it. They obviously have like how many cameras? 11, 12? They should be at eight. Okay. They should be able to do it. You got the heated steering wheel. That's cool. Heated seats. Does it have cooled seats or just heated seats? Yeah, it's cooled seats. Everyone, oh, nice. Elon finally listened. Yeah, dude, the cooled seats are money, and especially in uh, you know 100 degree weather and it's humid. I don't like it, honestly. It's Last a little thing creepy. I'll show you guys. Oh come on! How is it creepy? I like the heated little, seats. Well, I the, heated I'm seats an old man. I, my back hurts. So yeah, I but put, when it's 90 degrees in Florida and humid, you gotta love those heated seats. So the last thing, <gasps> look, look at this. They took off Disney Plus. They took off Disney Plus. <gasps> yeah. I, look, I don't care about. You could put it in. I don't care no, that about happened, Bob Iger. That I don't happened care about a few politics. months ago. No, I know. I don't care about politics. My kids love Disney Plus because they watch a lot of that programming, right? And so, just give me Disney Plus back, seriously. I mean, come on. If you guys but know, way, you got YouTube. If you, you guys know, know what's going on there, then you know. We won't get into it. I know, but it's politics. I hate pot, but it's incredible. Here's your channel. But let's, but let's, you know, what, half but a look, second. But look at this, guys. It's There's people screen. attacking Elon. Why is Disney attacking Elon? It's ridiculous. Well, you saw the, you saw the thing when he's in the bomber jacket and he says, you know, advertisers go f yourself. I mean, you, you, that's where it came from. This is my kids. Yeah, this is my this son. Is he's 17, job. driving, and my 10-year-old edited this video. I saw this yesterday. I watched the whole thing. He, he had a hard time getting in and drive. He drives a Model 3. Which, well, that has the turnstock, though. It has the oh, stock, right? He's not watched any content. Yeah. Obviously. So, what's interesting about this, guys, so what we were just saying is when you want to go into drive, put your foot on the brake. Oh, I don't have the key. Oh, you don't oh, have the key. Yeah. So, you, you put your foot on the brake, and then you actually have to swipe up. Actually, I do have a... I think I have the... No, uh, no. Yeah, he's got the key card. Oh. So, you do have to put the key card in here to make it go. But it's, it's, it's just different. There's no like physical turnstock. There's no like gear lever that you typically find in most vehicles. So if you're, if you, you know, if you've just never been in one of these, you really have no clue how to make it go. And if you watch his video or his son was like, how do I make it go forward? And it's not intuitive. It took him a good <laughs> minute. Yeah. I mean, oh, I had to clue him in. He started just hitting buttons. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, no, like, stop no, just hitting buttons. Not... So guys, this is what the actual key card looks like. And it literally is just a credit card. And so if you lose your key, so I always keep one of these in my wallet just in case. That's where it was. Because because otherwise you, your phone controls everything. You walk up to the vehicle, it unlocks. It, you don't you don't have to put your phone anywhere. You can have it in your pocket. It doesn't really matter. The, the card just goes. And that is a fantastic People feature. carrying keys are dumb to me. This is well, how you go, guys. So that's reverse. That's up. It's also on that 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 that's on automatic on a beta right now. Yeah, and I have it's mine worked, on automatic. Too. Yeah, it's worked a little bit. It, I've only had okay. it a bit. It works. And then not every time. Peace, peace park. And there you go. 
I mean, that's it. You get used to this. I got to be honest. It's a little weird. Is there no other way to do it? Like you can do it here. Is yeah. that how yours is? Yeah. Well, my, mine's, mine is. I didn't like, even actually Mine's touch, actually right here. I don't even think I actually touched that, but it just did, obviously. Well, that's cool. That's your hazards. Is there anything else? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's the emergency. Um, yeah. In case this okay. doesn't in work. In case the screen decides Because that, there's that actual button there. Well, this is really cool. All right, guys, the, the next clip you're going to see will probably be a little bit of a driving POV. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, guys, this is the next day. As you can see, it's a beautiful, sunny, perfect day. Now, I have never driven the Cybertruck. This is literally going to be a first drive, first impressions. Now, there is no gear stock, if you recall us talking about it yesterday. So the only way you initiate the gearing is by going swipe up or swipe down. You know, you would think that's just really weird, but in the end of the day, I have really gotten used to that in my Model X, and I promise you will get used to it too. I will tell you, first impressions, the steering on this truck is very responsive and slow. It's almost telepathic. It's not like a normal screen where you have to go lock to lock. He showed you that yesterday when he was pulling it into the garage, but man, it's, it's super easy to drive, wow. Uh, like a Tesla, all the power that you ever need immediately available. I mean, this, uh, Craig, this thing goes to 16, what, four seconds, I think? Yeah, I'm gonna So the Cyber Beast, which is obviously a good deal more expensive, I think goes to 60 in like the mid twos. I promise you guys, you do not need to spend the extra money to have the truck that goes in the mid twos, unless you want the bragging rights. Because let me tell you, having had three Teslas in a row, all of them performance versions, my long range is as fast from the passenger's point of view as my P100D was, even though it has another 20, 25% range, which is just wonderful to have. So my recommendation to you is, don't think you always need to get the max Cybertruck, just get a long range. You'll appreciate the range, and trust me, when you do hammer that acceleration, your passengers and you are gonna think the, tr the truck is plenty fast enough, that's, that's for sure. And the cool part is it doesn't seem like it affects your towing capability, whether you get the Cybertruck or the regular one. So there's really no downsides with going with the long range. But first impression, very comfortable. The steering is really, really responsive. Now, do you have it in sports steering? I believe it's in comfort. That's comfort? Oh Let's my God, see, uh, it, that feels like sports. Today. Under dynamics, custom. Okay. Custom. So. Which, so I, you know what, honestly, I don't know what custom means. It's been in custom, I haven't even tried the right. other settings. So let's just try sport for a second. Wow, okay. Wow, big, this big, truck big is unbelievable. Was that a big change? Not really. Because I can't believe I, I didn't try it. I actually <laughs> think you already had it in sport mode, but just, I mean, that is unreal, guys. Like, if you're an enthusiast, this is gonna feel like one of the most fun, responsive things you've ever driven, because there's literally zero play. Look at that. Every time I do even just a little bit, it makes a movement in the in the truck. So if I go back that to custom, that is so where it was, different than most do trucks. Do that same bit. All right, let me not crash into somebody. Right? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. All right. Yeah, it's very different. Yeah, so it's a it's, the, it's got yeah. a lot more error. Exactly. Room before it's going to respond. It doesn't really have a lot of error. To be honest do you have with a you. preference now that you're just well, new in it? Because I know I'm going to prefer what I use. It depends on what mood I'm in. If I'm oh. in just like driving in traffic, I'm going to probably put it in comfort mode, right? But if I'm like, you know, hey, I want to have some fun on the back roads, I would absolutely move it to yeah, sport. One thing to, to to tell you guys, and again, this is only if you're new to Teslas, and I know some of you watching might be. You know, there is no braking. So if I want to slow down and not run into this Civic here or this CRV. All I have to do is slightly take my foot off the acceleration and it naturally slows down. It's called regenerative braking. But it's so good and it's so dialed in that you literally never need your brakes. We talked about this yesterday in my garage. Like you never use your brakes. So it's incredible with a car with, I think this truck has probably 670 horsepower. It's probably similar to the Model X long range that I have, which is 670. You think about it. How many 670 horsepower vehicles or like with the Plaid, 1,020 horsepower vehicles that are internal combustion, you know, would not would be on one set of brakes their entire lives? Because I will tell you, I've driven a lot of high horsepower cars. They go through brakes like crazy. Every 20, 30,000 miles, you're going to burn through them because there's so much power and you need the brakes, right? To slow yourself down, especially if you're going to have some fun. So that's just one thing to be mindful of. This is such a cool truck. Now, another thing I'll mention, you can see here in the screen, this is actually my rear view camera from this right here. This mirror with the tonneau cover up, you can't see anything. So your, your basically rear view mirror is completely worthless. So Craig was actually telling me people remove this. Yeah, and, and I was finding it a little more effective for myself here. 
right. because your eyes are used to going center yeah. versus here. It defaults there. It's Do you amazing when it preference? does that, though. Well, here's the thing. In, in, when you think about it, because I, I bet you all the guys are watching, like, oh, my God, that's so dangerous. Well, the reality is if you're looking in your rearview mirror, you've taken your, your, your eyes off the road. So it's no different than looking here or looking at a screen. Either way, you're taking your eyes off the road for a split second to check your, you know, your mirrors. When you hit your blinker, it actually takes the rear view mirror away and it puts on the uh, side view camera. You know, one thing that's different about the Cybertruck that I just noticed is this actually has tactile feedback on the steering wheel. Well, as my Model X, it, it's like, it's more of a, I don't know, it's almost like when you touch your Hap phone, sensor. it's more of a haptic feedback, right? This is actually a physical button. So that's something to be mindful of that I wasn't aware of. God, the turning in this truck, geez, it's so good. You know, I, I would make a mention of the, the, the button changed. So Tesla is not afraid to go back to another standard that was better. Right. The haptic wasn't better, so they just went back one step. No uh, problem. The, the haptic feedback is wonderful, uh, but I also prefer a physical push button, right? Because you would hit the haptic when you did correct un, unintentionally. Yep. Yeah, I, I've honked at people unintentionally before and, and things like that. So that is a downside. I don't think you're going to have that quite as much with this. I think that's why they went back to that's it. That's exactly why they went back to it. Yeah. If you didn't know, guys, you can control your sounds here. You can control a lot of the modes on the screen here. You can you can go back and forth with songs left and right here. So these all have multi-functions. That's your wiper watch. And I like that they added the horn here instead of a button. The, the one thing that drives me crazy about the Model X is they got rid of the horn where you can just go like that because that's what everybody intuitively does. And I think that's really dangerous. I really do. It's the, you know, the, even Elon must have acknowledged or the engineers must, must have acknowledged at the time when you want to honk at somebody, you really want to have the ability to have that muscle memory. Right. Like where is the horn is not going to work. I completely agree with you. Like, oh my God, what button is the horn? I mean, unless you like practiced it and you have that muscle memory, you're never going to honk at anybody. And it's just that 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 is a real big miss. And I actually think that's a safety feature that they need to think about. Well, they did. I think. Well, know, they did in this version, well, but I don't know how they missed it in mine. Be well, because they thought it was better. Same thing as the haptic, I think. Yeah, you I know, know the, the X the X is an experiment. Yeah, no, like, I it agree. really always was. You know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I mean, you know, that's that's, that's like the whole yoke steering wheel. Like, what's wrong with a round wheel? You know. I understand because they had the front screens, they want more screen visibility, but still. This squircle is fantastic though, because since you don't have to move it more, uh, you never lose your... You're, dude, the steering is, the, like the driving experience, guys, on a first impression, it's absolutely butter. Like your 12-year-old kid could drive this car successfully, I, or truck successfully, I have no doubt about it. Like this is literally the easiest truck to drive. It almost feels like an arcade, right? Because you never use your brakes. The steering is like literally one one finger, and you could probably navigate everywhere you need to go. It's just unbelievable. The the glass goes what maybe twenty four inches away from the bumper. So when you're looking at it and you're turning with with the way the steering works, you had had me two feet away from the yeah, expensive it's, sports car. It's really hard to judge distances, 100%. You know, you're going to give it an extra two feet that you don't have. Now, it will come up with yeah, the lines. you have and your sensors and all that, and, and that really does help you. But your mental programming is, I'm going to hit, that. like, it's a new radius. Once you drive a Cybertruck, guys, like, okay, I've driven a lot of trucks, and I'm a truck guy. I grew up in Nashville, for God's sakes, all right? So anybody watching this, I'm trying to be objective. Like, I would literally tell you... <laughs> The F-250 is a better truck. I love the F-250. It's incredible. I have a Roush Edition, Ruby Red. I drove it all the time. It was amazing. Everybody gawked at it, right? Everybody thought it was awesome. But I hated filling it up with $4.50 diesel fuel, right? I hated the fact that, you know, it was massive in the turning radius. I'd have to do three-point turns everywhere. Like, this truck literally solves that issue. The only thing the F-250 has and the F-150 and the Ram 1500 and all of the guys, the only thing that they really have that, that Tesla still hasn't solved, and same thing with Rivian, is the fact, and even the Lightning, is the fact that you can't tow quite as efficiently as you can with a diesel engine. And that's the same reason why they're still using diesel engines in locomotives, and they're still using them in planes, and they're still using them in, well, maybe not planes, it's a jet engine, but in general, they still use them for marine transportation, right? So diesel is still going to be around for many years for its reliability, its ability to, you know, be a little bit more efficient, I guess, on, on high, heavy loads versus batteries. But reality is, if you're just dailying around, you're doing the Costco runs, you know, you're, you're, you're maybe trailering a car or a, you know, lawnmower or just small things every once in a while, this is more than enough for your daily use 
if you're still going to be hauling, you know, cat gear, like caterpillars and, you know, things like that that are 20, 30,000 pounds, obviously you're going to have to stick with an F-250, an F-350, an F-450 of the world. I don't think the Cybertruck's going to replace that. So I wanted to be objective there. You know what? I want to interrupt. I don't think that was ever the intention. No, I don't think it was I either. But, I, but that's I really, the funny part about what you watch online, right? Everybody's I, hating on the fact. I don't want to give that even any attention. They go I don't, 100 miles and they die with towing. You know. I don't know why anyone's trying to compare this to something it's not even trying to be. Not trying to be. It's not trying to be a 250 or Correct. higher. This, this is this but, is, but it is comparable to a 150, right? Sure, uh, the one, and the 150 can't tow a whole lot either. Yeah, <laughs> you know? Well, exactly. I mean, they, you know, that was the that was the fun sales pitch when they released this truck, right? It was like they, they compared the F-150 and the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck literally walked, you know, walked it down the road, and it looked pretty embarrassing for the Ford. And then all of a sudden, everyone said, "Well, let's make it a 250, 350, and yeah, 450." Yeah, exactly. Right. And then, and then it's like, well, then it's not apples to apples, right? And then the other thing was like, well, was the Ford all-wheel drive and not two-wheel drive? And you know, that's not fair. And blah 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 blah. Right. So that's that's you know the funny what? part. I don't understand where all that comes from because it, honestly, it, it it's comes just from what we this is yesterday. a great truck. It is. And it shouldn't really come from anything else. I know. It comes from the fact, though, that it's changed. It's different. It's new. And let's be honest. Elon Musk needs to shut his mouth because <laughs> he's his own worst enemy. I mean, you line know, line, man. Because, you know, when he gets on Twitter and he starts up all these rants and stuff, like, he polarizes half his audience. So then you got, you got the hate versus, you know, the right. Like, sometimes politics shouldn't enter into the equation. Unfortunately. It should just be judged by what un- it is. Unfortunately, but Adam. But it's not. Let's be honest. Un- right. Unfortunately, Adam. You've got big oil and big business, yep. and Elon Musk, you know, he he started a war against them, whether intentional or not, and then, uh, you know, I, we're all here, we all know Elon bought Twitter and turned it into X, and I'm not going to even say anything about why, but you all know why, you guys know what's happening, this is literally a free speech platform, we're on YouTube, Yep. I hope I'm not censored. You know, censoring is weird, and Elon is anti-censoring. Right. I don't know why anyone be, would be anti that, although I can make my opinions, and you can too. Yep. Absolutely. I will tell you, there is a little bit of an audible noise that the electric motors in this truck makes that maybe you're not used to if you drive a Y. It's a little bit louder, but it's still very quiet overall. So if you are a person who loves a good audiophile, you know, loves to listen to music, this is going to be one of the best vehicles you've ever owned because you get to really hear your music crystal clear. And the sound system, unfortunately, because of licensing rights, we really can't show that. But, uh, you know, in the end of the day. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause well, the, this the first Bluetooth. clip. You know what? I spoke to you on the Bluetooth. You told me. Oh, how the good Bluetooth it was. was fantastic. Like, I didn't even know you were on. Yeah. Like, I thought, you, and, I thought and, you were on, like, AirPods. And it's just so quiet. Yeah. And, and notice we just came to a stop, and I don't have my foot on the brake, and the truck's holding itself, even though we're on a little bit of an incline. So, guys, we've reached our spot here. I'm going to go ahead and have Brian take an incredible montage for you, and then we'll pick up the drive after this. Let's go. Well, everyone's this hand. is this is weird, guys. So I'm not really sure what's going on with this window. We literally just got out of the truck. I'm not touching anything. He's not touching anything. Brian's not touching anything. Oh, the door is opening and closing right here. What in the, the heck? Se- you know, this was the one that had the airflow issue. So so there's there's a there's a defect. There's here. a yeah. Wow, it just stopped. Okay, so there you go, guys. That's a perfect example of something you're gonna have to bring to Tesla now. And but I was already it. aware because the the truck was silent except there was a tiny bit of airflow out of that window. And it was so quiet that I was even adjusting the window. T- I think it's over torqued. Got it. And you know what? I'm going to leave this clip in for you guys so that you know I'm not just being some Tesla fanboy, right? Yeah, I right? Like, <laughs> I like to show realistic issues with the truck. I just haven't had one yet, but that actually is a real one, so we'll show it. Here's our spot. It's a sensor. This is the most totally high spot in Brentwood, Tennessee. Uh, I don't live in Brentwood, but we, we came yep. and traveled here to film this. And, uh, yeah, in this beautiful spot. Yeah, well, just push so, it open. I'll tell you guys, like, everybody stops and looks at this thing. This, thing is, this guy just whipped out his phone and he's driving a GMC you know what I mean like look at him he's recording the truck as he's going by he's still freaking recording (laughs) this guy literally just drove by stopped and got out of his truck or got out of his car look at this look at this super indiscreet place yeah and we're like literally in the middle of nowhere right now in this parking lot as we're filming that is whole he's literally in the shot (laughs) hey cyber trucks out there (laughs) hey tell them to come out here as long as they're good with me on camera does that happen when you come with a supercar no no you can bring a 2rs and sit it out there and they might like look at it but nobody's coming out of the building that's for sure a cyber truck uh in brentwood rare sighting 
Yep. Everybody in the building's like, what What do you mean a cyber truck? Yeah. It's sitting right there. <laughs> it yeah, is. You see it. It's, I, I want to get closer, but I'm still debating whether or not it's really happening. It's, not there. <laughs> it's, a, it's a figment of your imagination. We're take it to a charger, so I'm going to take it to the most popular charger there is in Middle Tennessee, or one of the most popular ones, and that's by Target. Mostly because I'm just curious to see how many other people's reactions we're going to get. Because we've already gotten, I mean, you can see it. Like, literally, people just drive by and stop and get out of their vehicle. Like, I've never seen that on any vehicle. Like, I've, I mean, we'll have, like, Porsche GT2 RSs and nobody gives a crap, right? For an enthusiast, that's, like, maybe my all-time favorite car. But, you know, people are like, ah, oh, it's another Porsche, right? It's another Ferrari. You're just a rich douchebag, you know? Like, they don't care. But this thing, for some reason, this thing just seems to just draw people's attention. Like, nobody, like, like nothing else I've ever experienced. And you guys can see how many reviews we've got on the channel now. So, but these are this is an enthusiast product. I mean, no doubt about it. And you know, Craig and I were just talking about this point, guys. It's like if you buy this truck and you don't like attention, just just cancel your order because this is one of those vehicles. At least probably for the next at least three to five months, maybe even a year. You probably maybe even two years. I mean, you probably <laughs> don't want to like buy this truck if you don't like attention because it's just everybody looks at it everybody's curious about it i mean while we were filming just in the middle of what i thought nowhere parking lot like it was maybe 10 cars in there what four people came out well the you guy a, you had a 20 yeah. minute conversation with one of them i mean you he, know. he said it, it was moving around the whole building that was, there was a yeah. cyber truck outside yeah that's my point i mean it's just one of those products that i mean it, there's just I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I think I've, I think I've already said look, it. Look, look, look. She's literally videoing. Yeah. Oh, this is nothing. This, I I, mean, this is new for you. Well, I'm just I'm trying to make the point on camera. It's just like, because because here's the thing. She's got a little kid oh, at she, home. She's already sending it. Yeah. She's got a little kid at home, and she wants to show it to her little kid. Look what I saw today in Brentwood. I mean, there you go, right? It's just... You know, it's just it's one of those products that people want to share with them. coming on, right? So watch you know, the pothole. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Yeah, which you don't even feel, which Nothing. is just ridiculous. Like this car really is. I mean it's a truck. Alright, so coming out of the highway like you typically would, right? And so now I'm gonna full throttle. Did you even hit I mean, the floor? You, have, you didn't even hit the floor, did you? You have so much power <laughs> in this thing, it's crazy. <laughs> and this is not even the cyber beast. Like the cyber beast is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, this is, you, just, you just don't need the performance because this thing, I mean, that, that felt plenty fast. Like, that was 80 miles an hour. Everybody behind me is like, okay, but you can merge, buddy. Like, don't worry about it, you know? It's my first time passenger in the highway. And you feel it, yeah. As the passenger, it's, it feels way faster. Well, it's very open, wide space, comfortable. Yeah, driving this truck, guys, like, it's awesome. Like, this feels so easy to drive and so just... You know, you sit up high, the windshield's got a great panoramic view of everything. Like the A pillar's got the openings here, except the openings there. It just feels great. I mean, I don't know what else to say. You see the blind spot light? Yeah. No, nobody's told anyone oh, about that. There uh, is a blind that's spot an light. Easter egg, right? That's interesting. I haven't heard anyone mention it. Yeah. It, that's 100% a blind spot light, and I don't know if your camera's getting it. Yeah, it, it's picking that one up. Yeah, so so I don't think anyone's mentioned this on the YouTubes yet. Adam, you can be the passenger. Look, he's literally videoing. Yeah, but as a passenger, I have never been able to get this well of a view of, everybody. of yeah, the reaction, I actually, right? I actually have to make sure I don't crash into him. Right. The, the, look, I, that, you'll, you'll, see it, you'll see him as he comes up. They the come up and backwards. Like, look, this guy came up fast. Don't hit me, dude. But no, he's not even going to pass you. He just needed to catch up oh, and see he it. Wants, he wants to record. Oh, yeah. And he's driving the and thumbs he's up. He's oh, yeah. Up. Everything. I mean, it's it's actually a lot of fun for everybody. Oh, it's fun, man. I just get, I just blasted by because I felt like. Really oh, fun. I've done that. <laughs> yeah, once they've seen it. Yeah, it's like let me show you what it can do. Uh, this thing is this thing is just. I mean, I get the haters. I totally understand all the reasons why all the truck guys that drive the F one fifties and the Rams and the GMCs and all of them. I totally get it. You know, I understand. I can put myself in their shoes, but. Get in, drive the damn thing, and I just don't know how you don't love it. I, I, I mean, there's nothing not to like, like other than the looks. Like it is, it is ugly. Like I give you that. I've learned to absolutely love it's, the look. It's, it's not ugly me, to me. But it's, but in, in, it's not a Ferrari. You know, it doesn't have. It's not a McLaren with beautiful, elegant lines, right? It's not an Aston Martin. Well, but that's I've, timeless. I've in, readjusted in, you know, my portions of three. No, but I've readjusted the way I think of things. So, so now I've, I see that fancy car so that you just me, had. I see how expensive it is to repair that. I, it's impractical. It actually has become stupid to me. And yes, I want all the hate. Come on at me. 
yeah. <laughs> you know that carbon fiber thing that cost eight thousand dollars that you hit on a car you know a parking spot right. it, it, that's actually dumb you're, you're right you're right you <laughs> the superchargers see. pull yeah. up so this is guys if you don't know like people are like well how do you know where your superchargers are well it's super simple you just literally go into your navigation do charging and then you can even sort by level three chargers if you want so that so you know obviously you would choose a level three charger so you have max charging capability and uh, it's simple there's seven charging options within 22 miles of us yeah you wow. know pe people worry about oh, the range guy, the anxiety guy, they said that he's like you know the charging i'm like yeah charging is really not an issue anymore. they haven't experienced it you know and uh it's really fun like for example i'm gonna just use the uh, mic navigate to the white house so that's how much effort it's going to take to drive to the white house it's going to actually route us wow, through the chargers miles. i didn't know how far it was so it's going to be maybe four charging stops okay i'm coming onto the highway again so i want to give it the beans one more time isn't that weird all right i want to give it a little juice in this turn in the steering not man horrible? this, this is not right this is impressive for a truck yes. like this is impressive <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is a, this is an enthusiast product, guys. Like you're gonna love this damn thing. Like that's 86 miles an hour. Like let's go. And, <laughs> and it's, it's quiet. So quiet. And for, it's so quiet. Like it's so quiet for a truck. Oh my god. I was right. Four chargers to uh, the White House, and we would arrive at um, we would arrive at uh, the White House at 5:15 a.m. Yeah, four charging stops, huh? So we would lose an hour, so it'd be about 4.15 a.m. So it's like uh, 12 hours. I got you. 12 hours sitting in here, we would be in uh Boy, I tell you, you have Washington, all the passing power in the world with this thing. I mean, you just you just do not need the Cyber Beast. Like, you don't need the power. You will not lack power in this truck, I promise you. Yeah, like showing off. There's yeah. Well, this there's, is enough to show this off. This is plenty to show <laughs> off. Like, and, and I said the same thing about the Long Range X. You just don't need to have... The, 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 you know, the, the plaid, like, it, it, there's no reason, like, it, it already makes you feel like it's super fast, and so the plaid just makes you sick, yeah. like, there's, truly, there's, it's just too much. It's a bragging right, and I can't think of another reason why. It's literally bragging rights. It's, it's not because you, like, are you really going to be smashing your plaid everywhere and making you and your passengers throw up? I do want to be clear with the viewers, if they made the Cyber Beast first, we would be in a Cyber Beast. If they yeah. made the uh, single motor, we this would be in true. the single motor. If, 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 you, if they said you could only buy the Cyber Beast, we'd be driving that right now. And then we'd all be like giggling how crazy fast it is. But reality is, I just want to make it clear, it's overkill. I, right. And it is. So one well, of the things that people don't give Tesla the respect for is just how safe Teslas are. Yeah. If you are in an accident, which of course Teslas even avoid getting in an accident, far superior than other vehicles like these, and other these guys are literally trying to film us right now they are yeah they're the, all over the road too the accidents that the tesla get in and i mentioned it last night you know you live you walk away from you're not hurt you, these batteries are i mean it's not unique to teslas other evs with the battery below fsd as it sits comes standard in a foundation truck Oh, it does. That's I didn't know that. That's the part of the package. So we're oh, paying that's a what, that's what makes it a hundred. Right, we're paying a twenty thousand dollar premium. It's an eighty thousand dollar truck. Got it's it. a twenty thousand dollar foundation Got it. series so package. I haven't gotten the email, so you have to forgive me. Right. Well, I mean, because it's not public. Let me tell you. Obviously, if you geek out like I do, because I'm trying to get my truck, I, I definitely went deep. Right. And it's not very clear because it says FSD capable, mm -hmm. which sounds stupid. But it, they're saying that you get the capability. Yeah. They don't clearly say license. So, you know, these are all the foundation series will be licensed. So it's my belief in the future, the foundation series will have a better value than the non-foundation because they will all have FST automatically and be credited for it. Where the other Teslas, like I own three other Teslas right now with FST, and they're not valued for it. Right. On the secondary market. Well, they are, but it's it's at a far lower premium. Correct. Yeah, you know, they don't give you twelve grand aftermarket. They give you like four. It's like a Harley Davidson. If you buy a, a basic Harley Davidson and put a ton of parts on it, well, that's a whole other. Or if you buy a package, yeah. Harley Davidson that has all those parts on it, those two right. have two different values. No, one hundred percent. No, I just actually sold my car and I sold it without FSD, and the guy didn't even care. Of course not. I just transferred it. And you saved on it. And, and I told him I was like, look, it has autopilot and it's everything you need. You don't need FSD. In fact, FSD is, I think, kind of a scam. 
You know, I wouldn't say that because yeah. I use it all the time and I love it. But it can I feel hate, like I hate a scam. How it monitors you though. You know, I want to be able to. That's look at my the phone. government though. The I know. Tesla wouldn't Trust do me, that. No, it's terrible though. I actually went back to autopilot beta and not FSD because it drove me so crazy. Because I can't even pick up my phone and look at a text without it shutting off. If you off. touched your phone, it shuts Literally. down. If I took my eyes off it, it starts to you know beep at me, and I'm like, come on, that's the whole point of self driving. I trick it. I bring my phone around and oh, I put I, my phone I, no, up I here. Do, I do this. Yeah. No, literally this. But th this is more dangerous. I mean, Correct. It's, it's just it's counterintuitive. To but let's just be clear. That's that's government. That is not. Now have fun back in the sun. It's going to be a blast. And there is enough people here. You're going to get you're going to get your crowd. Yeah, this place is always man. This turning radius is absolutely. Look, wait, wait till this guy pop, looks up, right? He hasn't looked up. I can't wait to see him actually look up. Yeah, you oh, just won, you just him. won the supercharging lottery, brother. I mean, I can't. I can't oh my see. god, like it's crazy with these wheels. Like, it just. I'm sure he's. Looking I have up to, I have to like relearn how to drive because it, I mean it, it's just easier. God, so cool. All right. I mean, it's just, it's literally that easy. I mean, fantastic. All right, guys, we're going to get out and show you how to charge this. Just thing. like every other Tesla, soon to be every other EV, because they've all adopted the yep, yep. North American charging. So this is where the charging port is. Yep. Press the button. Yep. We're going to have our Cybertruck turn blue. And then it'll turn green. And it usually takes about, what, five seconds? Um, and I it's think that's it. And it's already, it's already connected to your card on file. So it's not like you have to pay. There's no credit card. And then you just walk away, you go get something to eat, and you come back. I mean, it's literally that that simple, guys. We've got 33 kilowatts, 42, hey, I'll 53. Show, hey, I'll show the screen. It so, might be better to keep it shut. Now, there, there's a ton of people here right now. So it's probably not going to go full charge. But there you go. Look at that. It's charging at 117, 121 kilowatts, 137. So, you know, when you had an older version of the Teslas, you couldn't really get that high. This one, if you are able to do a level three, I've heard it can go as high as 240. But look at this, like we already have a crowd. Like this guy's getting out, looking at it. So again, don't buy this truck if you just don't like the attention. I don't know what else to say, but look at that. We're getting 304 miles an hour. Now what's interesting about this guys is this is a completely full station on both sides, even the other side. So it goes to show you that this could probably get a little bit higher if there was nobody else. You know, what I like about this version of the screen is it actually tells you how much we've put in. So, you know, it's 35 minutes remaining to get to 80%. And so since we've been sitting here, we've already put 17 miles of range into the battery, which we've probably been here about four minutes. And then this is also interesting. You can adjust the ride height. Now we've pretty much kept it, I think in medium or high the whole time and it's been feeling great. But if you want to put it in low and again, take some back roads and canyon carving and whatnot, I mean, this thing is, I mean, this with the steering the way it is guys, it's incredible. Like it's literally like all the best things you like about an enthusiast car and all the best things you like about a truck. Well guys, this is the conclusion of the video. I think we covered everything you may want to know with a Cybertruck. This is probably going to be a good four 40 minute to an hour edit between the charging, the driving, the all the shots we covered yesterday in the garage. I'll be, I'll be honest, this thing is incredible. I've never driven a truck that's so easy to drive. <laughs> like it is, it's butter because of the rear steering, because of the way they've they've done it with the drive-by-wire. It's it's just unbelievable. It's quiet, it's comfortable, it's roomy, the interior is modern, it's bulletproof. Uh, you can't scratch it, there's no clear coat. It it's dirty right now, but it looks clean. I mean, it's it's awesome. <laughs> any, any parting thoughts? You know, uh, don't get the truck if you're shy. It gets oh a lot of attention. God. <laughs> there was, I mean, I, I'll throw a couple of clips, guys, in this video. Oof. People just like literally stop, get out of their car. He's filming his montage and they stand in front of him like, he, like he's not even there. You're going to have to put that in. That like, was the what, best. What are you doing, bro? It's like, do I come to your office and just sit down in your office chair and be like, what's up? Like, come on. It's like, that's what we're literally working. You have a question we didn't cover. Let us yeah, know. in the comments. <laughs> uh, uh, Craig will monitor it. I'll monitor it based on my experience with the truck now for two days. Obviously, we only have limited time with the truck, but this gentleman lives with it every day. And Yeah, I walked out of the hotel this morning. I saw the truck, and I'm just, I, I had pressed heat you know, from yeah. the hotel oh, yeah, room. And, and I, I took, I stopped and I took a video and I put it on my reel and I was just like, I'm so grateful that this is mine. This is my reality. This is unreal. We named this Holy Moly. My daughter and I, we were, first two hours, all we kept saying is, Holy Moly, Holy Moly. It, it really looks like it's from another planet. Yeah, it's, it's dystopian. There's nothing else on the road 
people go crazy. I, I think that's it, man. Craig, I had such a blast with you. This was a lot of fun. I've done, hundred, I've done hundreds of reviews, but this one's one of my favorites. So, so maybe we'll do a, what, 25,000 mile or something. Yeah, we'll, you know. do a, we'll do a what went wrong with the truck recap. Yeah, yeah there we go. Love this. And we caught that one thing yeah. that, well, yeah, you know. We caught the window going up and down, like yeah, spazzing. I don't yeah. know what, why, why, Sensor. Yeah, a sensor. Yeah. So there, the, we did not include, perfect. So we found we a problem. It, we kept it real. But I honestly don't have any negatives. I just don't have any negatives. Like it, <laughs> it, it, it rocks. Like well, Elon Musk. You know, we, uh, the one thing we didn't mention you know what was the, negative the, is? the forty-eight volt architecture. We didn't say that. That's true. The, so well, and that's just like a, a efficiency really, of building. It thing. doesn't really matter. Like you don't know it's forty-eight volt. Like, no. Nothing changes on the interior. Well, it does. So. That's what helps make it quieter. There's less wiring. There, that, that's why. Does it really help though? I, mean, I think so quiet. because the bus is so much smaller. They were able to re-engineer it. But I might be pulling it out of my ass a little Probably bit. A little bit out you know, of yeah. we'll yeah. see. <laughs> but it is. It, Here's the biggest thing that I do want to point out, right? This is a review for information purposes, because if you're using this review to think if you want to buy the truck, I'm laughing at you and I'm not judging you. I'm just, it just makes me giggle a little bit because if you decide you want to buy the truck, good news, go put yeah. your deposit down and now you've decided. Yeah, well, maybe five years from now. So, <laughs> so we were just talking about this. They're doing about 80 a day right now. They're going to get it up to 250 a day. And you told me that 50,000 trucks a year. Well, when they hit max production, they intend to get to 125 and then double it. So their max capacity that's planned is 250,000 a year. So even if they got to that right away, Which they're not that's going four to. years of capacity. Yeah. You know, I don't see it happening where these things are going to be yeah. that abundant so quickly. Right. And, but, and you remember, you can't sell it for 12 months. He's locked into an agreement. So that's another thing to be nice. Like he can't sell the truck for 12 months and the guy after him who buys the truck well, can't sell for 12 months. And the guy after no, him no, they can't can. sell it for 12 months. Oh, no, I, no, I'm saying- Oh, like, you mean the persons that bought it? Yes. The, so it's not like they're just gonna the, be on the, the Vins, market. The Vins after me. So, so it'll be interesting to see how this plays out yeah. because if you buy it a beast at the end of this year, you're gonna get that 12 month lockout. Yeah. So there's gonna be no beast unless you have the allocation already set. It's interesting because people aren't gonna wanna sell their trucks just if they can't afford it. True. And, <laughs> and you know, this, this is a hundred thousand dollar truck. So we've covered that. It's a hundred thousand dollar truck and the cyber beast is 120 and it, it includes FSD, which they normally charge you $12,000 for. So it is a little bit of a premium because the long range version of this truck will be $80,000 when they finally release it and they get past the founder series. Absolutely. Or the foundational series. Yeah. The, the options on this truck, you know, it could be these 33 inch tires and the, the white trim and all these things, we have to see a non-option vehicle to right. know what it is. So I asked them when, when you, you know, did you select the white? No, it's just the way this package comes. It mm -hmm. comes just like this. So this is pretty much everything you're gonna be able to get maxed out on a truck minus the tri-motor. Yeah, and the uh, extended battery that we never brought up, that's yeah. not a which, thing yet. Which is gonna take off some of your room in the back, which I don't know that's gonna be pro and con. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. Um, it wouldn't be for me. The range would be much more important. Yeah, and, and you have more weight with the extra battery, right? So uh, I really think you bought the smart one, which is the long range. It's plenty fast. The range is great. You don't miss the power. You just don't. I feel a little long winded only because the truck is that great and yeah, I don't want to say goodbye. I, I don't know. Talk, I'll just keep talking about the Cybertruck. <laughs> but right. you know, you guys got things to do. Yeah, you guys hey, got to get to I'm, Mr. Beast. I'm sure 97% <laughs> of you are already on Mr. Beast's channel and off mine. So I really appreciate you watching can, if you're can still I, here. Can I do a quick plug for the people? Sure. If you guys are interested in anything at all that I might be able to present to you, you guys can type three little words into the little machine of the internet, www.enterreallife.com. Guys go to enterreallife.com. I'll put the link. You'll have an invitation to greatness and to myself and to the people in my community. I'd love to see you there. You heard Seriously. It from the man. All right, guys, that's it for me. If you like my channel, subscribe. We do content like this every single week. Can't thank Craig enough for giving me an access to a Cybertruck pretty early, and I'm really excited about it. So thanks for watching. We will catch you on the next one.